Hello, Erin's Acres families. It's Michelle Newman here to share a yoga practice with you that will help dispel any pent-up energy from your day. Through deliberate breathing exercises and grounding yoga postures, it's the perfect nightcap to prepare you for a sound slumber. You can do this on your floor, by your bed, or any place in your home that is soothing to you. You can do it in your jammies or any other comfortable clothing. Consider having some yoga blocks if you have them, or maybe stacked books, but no worries if you don't have anything at your side, you can certainly do this yoga practice without them. So this practice will focus on deliberate breath. To begin, we'll stand in our mountain pose, ankles and knees and hips aligned, shoulders over hips and palms turn forward. We'll practice first the breath before we add movement. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and exhale. So you'll want an audible breath. Hearing your breath on your inhale through your nose, do that again. And hearing your breath on an exhale, even louder, like a big sigh out. Inhale through your nose. And sigh it out. Let's add some arm movement to that. Inhale through your nose, your arms reach up. Exhale through your mouth, you lower your arms down. Inhale, arms sweep up skyward. Open your mouth, drop your arms down. Inhale, your arms up. This time, fold to any amount. Breathing out through your mouth. Inhale, take your time, rolling up, breathing slowly in through your nose. Exhale, fold again, breath out through your mouth. Inhale, all the way up, breath in, hear your breath. Exhale, open mouth and let it go. Inhale all the way, reach up. Exhale this time, gather your palms together right in front of your heart. Adding on to arm movement now, we'll move into a full sun salutation but modified version. Arms down at your sides in your mountain pose. Inhale through your nose as you reach your arms up. Exhale, fold down towards the ground, and then take your time coming to your hands and your knees. Organize your shoulders over your wrist and hips over your knees. The tops of your feet will press down into the ground. Inhale your tailbone up and draw your chest forward. Exhale, open your mouth and round your back. Chin to chest. Scoop your tailbone, inhale through your nose as you come forward, exhale, round your spine, spinal flexion as you breathe out through your mouth, and again, inhale, and exhale, come to a flat tabletop spine, walk your hands slightly forward, tuck your toes under, and then lift your knees up off of your mat and send your hips up and back for your downward facing dog. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Look forward and step to the front of your mat, in between your hands. Inhale, roll all the way up and reach through your nose, you're inhaling. And on your forward fold, you're exhaling through your mouth. Take your time, step back to hands and knees once again. Inhale your tailbone up, draw your chest forward. Exhale, round through your spine. 
and then inhale this time into a child's pose. Take your knees as wide as you'd like and drop your forehead to the ground. Take a breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, breathe out. Inhale up to your tabletop position. Tuck your toes, knees up, downward facing dog, hips back. Inhale through your nose. Look forward and step to your hands. Exhale, fold all the way. Inhale through your nose all the way up. Touch your palms together and exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take your feet wide, turn your toes slightly out at an angle, and then reach your arms up overhead. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, drop your arm down to the side, stretch and reach over to that side, and then circle down in front of your body, all the way back up, both arms reach. And then opposite arm drops down, Sweep over to that side and all the way back up. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth as you sweep down and across. To the other side. Inhale first. Exhale, arm down. Open mouth. Breathe out and circle around. Hands to your heart center. And bend your knees, sit your bottom down and back. So you're not bringing your knees too far over ankles. Try to keep them in alignment with your ankles, really pressing your hips back a lot. Bring your hands to your thighs and take a breath in through your nose. Exhale, drop one shoulder down as you push your hand away from your thigh. Inhale, come back through center. And exhale, drop your opposite shoulder down, push palm away. Inhale, come back forward. Exhale, move to the side. Remember, breathing in through your nose as you come forward. And breathing out through your mouth as you move to the side. One more time to your opposite side. Inhale, exhale, dip down. Inhale back to center. Stand tall, straighten your knees, reach your arms up to the sky and walk your feet in towards one another. Pause here for a moment in your mountain pose. Inhale your arms up and then exhale. Take your feet wide once again. Turn your toes out quite a lot. Bend your knees. Inhale, straighten up, reach your arms up. Open your mouth and lower down. This time, touch your hands towards the ground or on any props that you have. Inhale, come all the way back up and exhale all the way down. Again, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Stay here and shift from one side to the next. Lift your hips up, straighten your knees. Breathe in through your nose. As you exhale, lower your hips down. Inhale, lift your hips up, straighten your knees. Open your mouth and exhale, lower down. Come all the way up on your inhale. Exhale, arms down, clasp your hands behind your back so your fingers are interlaced like so. And turn your toes slightly in towards one another now. So almost straight forward, slightly in. Take a breath in and lift your hands up away from your back as comfortable as you can make it and begin to fold at your hips so your arms can stay resting on your back 
or you can take your arms up and over towards your head and stay gentle as you open through your shoulders, not forcing any movement and concentrating on your inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Drop your hands down to the ground, widen your feet a little bit further apart from one another. Place one palm right in the center below your nose onto the ground and stretch and reach your opposite arm as you twist open. So you're twisting to any degree, making sure that you're taking care of your back. Take a breath in. Exhale, switch hands, opposite hand presses down and arm reaches and spine twists. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, bring your hand down. Remember to open your mouth. Turn your toes out slightly, bend your front knee, take a really wide stance so that your knee isn't coming too far over your ankle. And you can lift your back toes or the toes to the extended side of your leg up or keep your foot flat. Switch sides. So now you're extending opposite leg, bending opposite knee and back to the other side. Take this really slow and gentle. Your hips can be way up high as you shift from side to side. One more time, inhale to one side and open your mouth, exhale to the other side. Bring your hands back to center, begin to walk your feet in towards one another. Inhale, roll up, exhale. Drop your arms down. Keep your wide stance, but this turn, time, turn your toes open. So toes and heel are in alignment at 12 o'clock. Front knee and back knee are straight, but give a little bit of softness to your front knee. Take your arms wide, moving into triangle pose. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale, reach forward, push your hips back, and to any degree, open your arms. Hand can come to the top of your thigh or outer shin, to any point at your shin, to your ankle. If you have a prop, you can place your hand on that prop. And if you have the flexibility to move a little further with your fingers touching the ground, then you can always work towards that if you're not there right now. And take a breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Inhale, make sure you're bending your front knee a lot as you come all the way back up to stand and switch sides. Toes and heel are in alignment at your front foot. Your back foot is flat and at a slight angle, so toes might be pointing face forward. A little air and softness at the back of your front knee. Stretch your arms wide apart from one another. Take a breath in through your nose and push your hips back as you reach your arm forward. Exhale, tip over. Take care of your side waist. Remember, the goal is not to stretch too deep, yet you want to keep a lot of comfort in your body. Take a breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Bend your front knee a lot. Come all the way back up to stand. Walk your feet in towards one another. Pause in your mountain pose. Inhale your arms up. And exhale, arms down. Pause here for a moment. 
hand to heart and opposite hand to your belly. You can keep your eyes open or close your eyes. Check in for a moment, draw your awareness to your inner landscape. Notice any dissolved tension. Notice your breath. Bring your arms down to your sides and come to the floor to hands and knees once again. We'll move through another cat and dog tail stretch. So palms flat, shoulders over wrists and elbows, hips over knees, tops of your feet flat. Inhale your tailbone up towards the sky and your chest forward. And open your mouth, exhale, round through your spine, chin towards your tailbone. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, round. Again, come forward on your inhale through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth and sigh it out. Shift back into a child's pose. So you can take your knees wide or knees can stay together for support underneath your abdomen. So take your time situating yourself in your most desirable child's pose. And then walk your arms forward, rest your head down. Remember at any point you can use some props if you have them. Take your time settling in. Get cozy here in your child's pose. Feel as though you're supported, like the earth is holding you and cradling you. And draw attention to your breath in through your nose. And out through your nose. So this time a little bit different breathing exercise in through your nose. Your mouth stays closed out through your nose. Feel a sense of warmth and security wash over you as you breathe in through your nose. And out. lift your head up, walk your hands a little closer towards your body, and then take your arm, thread it underneath your extended arm, begin to drop your shoulder and your ear down towards the ground for threaded needle in your child's pose. Take your breath in through your nose, keep your mouth closed and breathe out. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale, breathe it out, mouth closed. On your next inhale, lift yourself up slightly. Switch to the other side, arm underneath, extended arm. And slowly rest down, ear and shoulder on the ground. And return to your breath. Inhale through your nose. Breathe it out through your nose. Respiration in. Empty out. Begin to lift yourself up hands down in front of you and begin to turn onto your bottom and onto your back. At this point, if you'd like to just hop in bed and lie down to finish your yoga practice in bed, then that might sound satisfying to you. Otherwise, stay on the ground and come to your back. Feet flat onto the ground. 
Inhale, lift your hips and your arms up at the same time. Breathe in through your nose. Open your mouth and breathe out as you lower. Up and in through your nose. Mouth opens, breathe out and lower. Inhale up. Open mouth, lower down, exhale. Inhale, your hips lift up, your arms lift up. And then keep your hips lifted, but drop your arms down to your side. Clasp your fingers underneath your hips. Walk your shoulders in towards one another. And keep yourself lifted in your bridge pose as you breathe in and out. You're breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take an inhale. Open out for an exhale. Inhale, fill your lungs up with air. Exhale, let it all go, dispelling any tension as you lower down. Pick one foot up, cross ankle on top of knee. Now, you can stay right here with ankle on upper thigh or uh, right above your knee, and then press your palm into your inner thigh and push away. If you'd like to take it a little further, you can begin picking your bottom foot up off of the ground or your bed and interlace your fingers behind your thigh, the back of your thigh. You can pull your knee in a little closer for your figure four stretch. So take it to where the sweet spot is for you. Really paying attention to your tissues, making sure you're not overdoing it, no straining. And return to your breath, shift your awareness to your inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Carefully release this figure four and shift your opposite ankle to the other side. You can stay in this starting position or press palm down into thigh or begin to lift and draw closer in towards your chest. Shift your awareness back to your inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Place both feet down, knees still bent. Pull your knees into your chest and then shift around in circles from one side to the other. Drop your knees to one side and open your arms. You can bring your chin over to any direction, left or right. And let all of the residual movement energy from the movements just settle down along with your breathing. Hug your knees back in towards your upper body and then drop your knees to the opposite side keeping your arms wide and your chin either to the left or to the right. Let everything settle. And bring knees back in. And finally, Shavasana, straighten your legs down and your arms down. 
wiggle around until you find your perfect still point. Letting everything just flop open, checking in with your jaw muscles and shifting your jaw from side to side, releasing any gripping. Bring your awareness to your shoulders and just let everything melt off of you, all of the tension from the day, any anxieties or worries or concerns from your day. Soften your belly muscles. And your legs, let them go. You can allow yourself to stay here in your Shavasana. Or add any movements you'd like. And settle yourself down in any way that you need to before you put yourself to sleep. May you rest well and peacefully tonight. And may you have a beautiful week ahead of you. Namaste.